Oh yes, I have come again. It's your girl, same one and only, Princess Cleeton on Royal Inspiration. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, it's not something you get to sit and think about all the times, but it comes, there comes a time in your life and you just have to think about it. You need to really sit and think about it. Most of the times we just don't want to go there, but we have to. Okay, so I'm going to sing the song and after the song, I'm going to say why I chose that song. So this is what it says. I almost let go. I felt like I just couldn't take life anymore. My problems held me bound. Depressions weighed me down, but God held me close. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me, so I wouldn't let go. I almost gave up. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see it. Why? The devil really had me. But Jesus came and grabbed me and he held me close so I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me so I wouldn't let go. So I'm here, so I'm here today because God kept me. me and he held me close so I wouldn't let go so I'm here today because God kept me I'm approved am I alive today only because of his grace oh he kept me God kept me and he held me close so I wouldn't let go. God kept me. He kept me. And he held me close so I wouldn't let go. Well, I'm here today. I'm alive because God kept me. So I'm a living proof, I'm a testimony, I'm a witness to the fact that if you don't let go, if you don't give up, you eventually get to that place where he's taking you to. When God begins a work with you, he takes it to completion. Are you ready for this? Okay, so we're talking about not letting go. You know, sometimes people hold on to whatever they believe in and whatever they're dreaming for years and years and years. And at some point, maybe after two years or three years, they just let go. Like seriously, some people who hold on and hang in there for like five years, six years. And at some point, they just let go. Really? So this is the part I'm talking about. Think about it. What made you hanging there for all the time that you've been hanging in there? What was it? What happened? What was giving you the drive? What was giving you the push? Why did you start holding on to that thing in the first place? So this is thinking time. This is when you have to sit back and think. Why did I want this in the first place? Why did I hold on for this long period in the first place? If it was worth it then, it's still worth it right now. So why should I quit? There ain't no reason for quitting. You just have to stay there. So that's where lots and lots of people don't get it. 
they just oh i'm so sick and tired of the situation i've had it i've waited i've prayed about it i've worked i've strategized i've changed my strategies and all but nothing seems to be working so what else should i do well let me just let go no letting go it's not an option that's when i would say to someone winners don't quit and quitters don't win especially if you're in something you're passionate about so what is it you're holding on to what is that thing you're about to let go you're right at the edge of the breakthrough a wise person said the darkest part of the night is dawn and dawn is the closest time to the morning so are you expecting a morning in that situation you're going through are you expecting a change are you expecting a turnaround please don't let go god didn't bring you this far to leave you if he began with you he's gonna take it till the end so why not trust him put your hands into his hands and let him lead trust him that much to be able to get that which you're holding on to. You started holding on to it for a reason. Go back, look at that reason, think through it again, believe in it, encourage yourself, get yourself back into the game, start all over again and tell yourself, I am holding on to this and until I get it, I am not letting go. I ain't letting go because God who began with me is definitely going to take me to the end. Do you believe that? I believe it. There are lots of things I started I almost let go. But God's mercy kept me and I didn't let go. And I'm here today and I'm sure I'm glad to be in your face and you're also glad to be watching me right now. If I did let go, I won't be here today. Because I hung in there, I held on to what I believe in. I trusted that God who started with me was going to take me to the end. He did take me to the end. And he brought me to this place where I'm talking to you right now. I'm so glad to always be with you. And like I always say, on real inspiration, Princess Keaton loves you. But the truth of the matter is, God loves you much more. Stay connected to him and your life is never going to be the same again. Don't let go. You're right at the edge of the breakthrough. You just can see it, but just believe it, speak it, and it will come to pass. I can assure you, I am a living witness. God bless you.